Okay, family, so I got this leftover rotisserie chicken right here. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Your girl do love the dark meat on a plucked and plucked out and plucked on it y'all but um what i'm finna do is i'll show you guys when i come back i'm finna take the rest of this meat off the bone all right okay family so i done pulled the chicken the rest of the chicken off of the bone this is the chicken that i got i just pulled it apart okay these are the things that i'm gonna add into it i got a little piece of a a yellow bell pepper I'm gonna put that in there some celery a little bit of onion and some of this green apple if not probably the whole thing all right family I'll come back after I done chop this up okay family as you guys can see um, just a little bit probably about one-fourth of an onion that was probably also like one-fourth of a yellow bell pepper I had two slim stalks of celery and one very small um, green apple so and also you guys I just keep it in the top container sometimes I just do it like this for just to make easier cleanup you know I can just mix everything up in here and then just put it in the container versus washing like two containers and one when I make it too, I also like to just use gloves and everything, you guys. Like I use these gloves to take apart the chicken and everything and mix everything up. Just makes for less cleaning and whatnot. All right, guys. So right now, what we're gonna do is, damn, was that a chicken? <laughs> the food. Anyway, you guys, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to get um, two eggs. So I boiled two eggs. I don't know. Let me see. Do I want two or three? I don't know. I like mine really eggy. So I think I'm going to use three eggs. So um, um, I boiled three eggs. If you don't know how to boil an egg, just just like thousands of videos for that. I'm not going to show how boiling an egg. So all right, guys, guys I'm going to get my egg in here. Okay, family. So I got my three eggs here and i added in just a smidge of sea salt not too much family because the rotisserie chicken is salty you don't need a lot of salt and i use some cayenne pepper okay guys and i'm going to put in just a smidge of yellow mustard i got some mayo right here and then i'm going to use some pickle relish we're going to put that in and guys so um like i said i like to use gloves for less cleanup when it comes to making some things so you guys can feel free to chop your egg up if you want. You know, you can hold it old school style and just chop it up. But I prefer just to put everything in there and just mash it all together. It's easier. It's quick. It's simple. It works for me. All right. Okay, guys. So here we go. So this is about a half a cup of mayo, about two tablespoons of French's yellow mustard, and probably about like a quarter cup or a third cup of uh, pickle relish. And so what I'm going to do now is, guys, I'm just going to smash this. I'm just going to mix it all together. I'm going to pretty much be taking my egg and gr just smashing it like that and mix everything together. Simple, easy, quick. All right okay family all done so i had an egg left i had originally boiled four eggs so i just sliced that up and put it over there because i don't want to waste it although as you can see guys it's pretty eggy um it tastes delicious it tastes amazing i actually would have liked more mayonnaise i like it a little bit a bit wet but you know what guys we're trying to cut back we're trying to lose weight so we want to keep the mayonnaise low even though you know it is a fat and everything we still want to just keep that low all right so guys some of the things okay guys some good things to eat with this chicken salad so we have to remember that we already chopped up a small green apple so the apple is carbs guys it's carbs and sugar so as well as the relish the relish is also sugar so you know we have to keep those things in mind but you can eat it you know we got some smoked gouda here you can add a little cheese on top and liven it up and just eat it like that um i also have my favorite salad y'all know i always had the same salad i freaking love this salad it's so good um you can use avocado you can slice some avocado up on it um you can slice some avocado and the salad and use these are these um those smart uh, low carb tortillas low carb tortillas if you're starting to get bored with it during the week you can even um add in some bacon bits add in a little bacon bits to it maybe with the salad or whatever mm. gonna be good y'all okay you guys i hope everybody enjoyed this video that is my uh leftover rotisserie chicken salad 
yeah that rotisserie chicken come in handy guys especially when you're trying to lose weight need to try and keep one of them in the fridge especially those days when you don't have a lot of time and maybe you you got to get uh, maybe some lunch or you know you're trying to stick to your program or maybe you come in and you know you ravenous you hungry you starving you got to cook dinner for you and your family but right now you you know you just starving you ravenous and you, your kids is munching on chips and stuff in front of your face well this is something that you can easily go to like this chicken salad boom can eat a couple of spoonfuls of this right quick put it on a tortilla right quick be able to get through the dinner without eating half of it before you even finish cooking it the whole nine guys also just the rotisserie chicken itself you can always just cut a piece of that off eat it with a piece of bread eat it with the low carb tortilla right quick and be able to maintain your appetite and everything and get through the day get through cooking dinner get through dinner you know whatever get through work what have you all right family thanks for tuning in please everybody hit that like button hit that subscribe button and that like button hit that subscribe button it don't cost you anything okay family stay blessed